Hello, welcome to the channel. I have the Zyber VR battery pack for the Quest 2. So this is a custom charging battery that basically slips directly onto the headset like so. You can see that is the plug and that is the socket and it is uh, shaped to, you know, rounded to fit on there, of course. Um, first off, I do want to mention uh, the reason why I don't have a head strap on here is I'm not allowed to show you the head strap I'm currently using, so I've taken it off because I have a third party head strap which is currently in beta um, because it's not available um, for sale yet. I'm not allowed to show it in any film footage. So there's no sinister reason why I don't have a head strap on here because this does fit with a head strap just fine. You can see there is plenty of clearance. Uh, first off, let me show you the features. Um, you do get a little pouch and you do, do get the charging cable. So on this side is the uh, socket for charging. Um, there is uh, the lights to show you how much charge is on the battery. And that button is there so you can check how much charge is on the battery when it's not plugged in. So that's that. So pretty simple, obviously, um, you know, device plugs in there. It's rated at 5,000 milliamp hours, which um, I kind of tested in a, in, in a way. Um, so let me just tell you, I did um, discharge my Quest 2 to 5%, then plug this in, um, just put it in standby mode, and this was able to charge the headset up to 78% before this fully discharged. So that is not clearly 5,000 milliamps um, hours because um, the battery capacity in here is lower than this or the weighted capacity. So this is more in the region of, I guess, maybe at best uh, 3,000 milliamp hours. And of course, you can expect some inefficiency from the transfer of you know, energy from one battery to another. So yeah, it's never gonna be exactly what you'd expect. So that's quite normal, but that's what you can, you know, that's what you're gonna get from this battery, at least when I tested it you know, 5% to 78%. That's all I managed out of this. Um, if you look at the website on the literature, they show you um, this battery is used while someone is wearing it. And that, yeah, that's something I would not like to do personally um, because you of course have that small socket, you've got a small plug and you have this thing on there. And, and you know, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. You can see that is, you know, flexing that plug there. And um, what worries me about that is if you're using it and it is obviously sticking out, it doesn't take a lot to snag that. It wouldn't take a lot just to swipe it and then break this off. And that could be obviously devastating for the product itself. You're gonna break the socket on there, the plug on there, and potentially uh, damage the socket on your headset. So that does concern me. I wouldn't really wanna do that uh, and run this while using my headset. Um, setting it down and plugging it in and charging off this battery I think is absolutely fine. Um, the other thing you want to do as well is you need to be quite careful when removing it because again, you know, you, you, you could tug it in one direction and, and damage something here. So you do need to be quite careful, you know, and um, that's the other thing I'm kind of, does worry me a little bit that you do need to be quite delicate and ensure you are, you know, pulling it off, you know, dead straight on because you can't be, uh, you can't do it lazily because yeah, there is a, uh, there's big risks there guys, there's big risks. Um, so yeah, it's um, it certainly works, it's shaped to fit on the side of it. Um, the price of it is okay, I suppose, but you know, what is this doing really over a regular power bank? Um, well, it just goes in there rather than you trying to put a power bank strapping it to the back of your headset. And if you do want to use a power bank for additional power while using your headset, then I would urge you just, just to buy a head strap with a built-in battery, or just add a battery strap and a battery to the back of your head strap, rather than hanging this off there and playing games. You know, I wouldn't want to do that. I mean, um, you know, because it, it, it is something which um, to me seems too fragile on that point there. You know, but I think, you know, you can look at it and I'm sure you're gonna make that same, you know, assessment as well. You'd question it, whether or not that would be a good idea to hang this off there when you could you know, snag it and, and kind of yank it off and break something. So yeah, be, be wary about this. Um, personally, I'll just buy a, you know, a power bank. I'll put that money into it just a power bank and just use one regularly, even if I wasn't gonna strap it to the head strap. You know, you can still add portable power and just charge it you know, running off a, a cable to the power bank. And essentially that's how I'd, I'd only use it like this. And by the fact, um, you know, the capacity of it is not like super high, it does reduce its kind of value if I'm only gonna get, you know, five to 78% charge. 
Um, so yeah, you know, it is what it is, guys. This is, um, you know, a little power bank. It does work, but there's certainly some risk with it, and it's also limited. Um, also, one thing I will say finally is, um, after charging it for about an hour, I did uh, touch that bit there. Just, you can see this little, uh, well, obviously the, the charge socket, and it got quite hot there. I could feel it, because obviously there's metal on there. And that felt really hot, so I pulled it out, and that plug felt really hot as well. And that did worry me, because I don't think that should heat up as much as it should when you're charging um, your Quest 2. So, yeah, that was another thing that did concern me a bit. So, yeah, um, this is one I will personally will not continue to use as a product. You know, so yeah, I can't give it a recommendation because there's 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 a few things here which do concern me. So, you know, it is. Um, but you know, that's why we make these reviews to show you products, whether or not they're good or bad, or you know, something to be wary of. You know, that's kind of you know, I have some concerns here. So I certainly wouldn't recommend it. But there you go, guys. That is the Cyber VR battery pack for the Quest Two. Leo, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.